It's about time we got some more guts. We didn't want to be the channel that was known for just bringing you bad news, so we have a little bit of good news that we wanted to share, uh, at least for manga fans and fans of the story of Berserk. Uh, looks like the manga is there's at least one more chapter to be told by the original creator, and let's go take a look. So uh, the online community and the anime community, including. Uh, obviously manga readers are still mourning the loss of the legendary creator Kentaro Miura and uh, I passed a couple of uh, I guess like a month ago I don't remember the exact date but I know it was a story that we covered in one of our previous episodes and it doesn't see obviously this is a 30 year piece of work that hasn't been finished but we're gonna get one additional chapter it looks like so I figured I would pass some of the news off to you guys so that you could uh, get yourselves ready for it. It looks like we'll get a little bit more of Guts, Casca, and the, the rest of their their group, their little party. And it uh, looks like it's going to land on September 10th. There was a, uh, there was a, uh, a Twitter thinger, whatever, a tweet that told us that the 364th chapter with a color page of Berserk will be publishing in the upcoming Young Animal issue on September 20 or September 10th of 2021. Uh, the same issue will have a poster of some of the best scenes of the manga, a little booklet uh, entitled Messages to Kentaro Miura. So you'll get things, I guess, from other creators and things about how important he was to them. So I think it's a nice little tribute and uh, looks like but there are new, no new plans for any anime or feature-length films, and people are a little upset by that. Uh, but people were upset with what they put out last time anyway. So we'll see what happens. Uh, at least you get a little bit more of a taste, and I figured I just wanted to share a little bit of the manga with you guys. I'll try to keep them. I have not previewed all of these, so I don't know which ones are not for like <laughs> the special eyes be careful please i'll try to blast through it if it's too explicit uh because uh that guy liked to make it a little rough but he was also it was also beautiful so let's take a look at some of them this is from a blog uh king kira's castle blog who happened to have you know his hundred favorite um panels so i figured i'd just give a little bit so we could take a look of all the demon action and our one of our favorite characters guts and all that good jazz uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the manga I could tell you a little bit about it it's the story what was really cool to me is I, I caught the anime first and it was kind of mind-blowing to me there's the golden arc age which is like set in kind of medieval times and there's knights and things like that and and you follow the story of, of Guts and kind of like his ally slash mentor slash someone who's giving him guidance in life. And the two of them, you know, create this 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 band, this brotherhood that, that goes to conquer a whole bunch of things. And Griffith is his partner. Griffith is uh, l looking to become a noble knight, uh, someone of value in the world. And, and Guts is just a, a crazy killer, mercenary, if you will. And then uh, as the story progresses, it's, it's very non-supernatural. And then it just goes, blue, <laughs> Teddy Bonkers off the wall. One of the most, um, and I won't spoil anything for anybody who hasn't read or seen it, but one of the most mind shattering pieces of visual art I've seen. It was just absolutely dazzling and also stunning and horrific all at the same time. So if you uh, take your time, go catch that. I highly recommend it. Uh, there's one from the 90s, which is pretty good. There's also a newer one from, I think, the 2000s. Um, but like I said, this is a 30-year piece of art based on the manga. And it's, it's really cool. I definitely suggest you check it out if you're an anime fan. Anybody, I would be surprised if, you ha if you're an anime fan and you haven't heard of Berserk. I think it's a good starting off point because it allows you to like get into a nice cool world and then have like your bl mind blown by 
these like earth shattering drawings. So let's go through some of them just to just to take a look at them and uh, check out some of the the the, um, the I guess these are honorable mentions, but this is one of the main characters, Casca. She's like alone with her feelings. I think that's kind of cool. You have this. I don't know what this is, but there's a little castle in the bottom here and there's this giant tentacle thing. Uh, this is the demon form of some dude because there's a lot of demon stuff going on. This seems wild. It's kind of crazy. This dragon here is really cool. I think that's... A, you got to remember the dude hand draws all this stuff himself. I think he has some assistance, but... Um, you know, writes and draws it, and he, there's no one else who has this, his same kind of like drawing style. Some of it's like really, really graphically good, and some of it's like a little off, but still like really amazing. Um, that's a Behalit. You wouldn't know what that is, would you? Unless you're a big fan. Oh, that's a cool piece. Hopefully, we don't come across the ones. Yeah, it gets extraordinarily graphic at times too. Like this is. Uh, there's a lot of scenes of torture and and you know some would say it goes a little further than it needs to but I still find it to be like look at that that's a really breathtaking piece I think that's awesome so just wanted to give you guys some good news uh, that there would be a little bit more maybe one day someone will actually do it justice and you can remember the day that you saw on our reviews will kill you the first time you ever heard about berserk if you haven't I highly recommend it uh, it's kind of like uh, one of those, uh, the other ones, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, where it just like shook me when I first saw it and, and made me think. And it's not just like straightforward story with, um, it's not your typical anime in my mind. It's a little bit darker, a little bit heavier themes. And uh, there's some really great other videos out there that do analysis. But I figured I'd give you some good news that on as we go back here, we'll there will be releasing a 364th chapter. Just imagine that. Um, let's see. Maybe we can actually Google when did Berserk start? When did Berserk manga start? October 22nd, 2003. It's pretty impressive. Um real and by the same man the entire time did the entire thing and maybe one like i don't know if we'll ever get the story tied up but it's a great story no matter where you dive into it there's a lot of really great chapters of it so enjoy more enjoy what you got be sure to catch some of the anime if you can if you like what you heard here be sure to like and subscribe we really appreciate it you know this was our positivity of the week for you you know, giving you a little bit back instead of always uh, trashing things. It's not what we always do here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you can have some more fun with us on Friday nights at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, 7.30 p.m. that is. Not in the morning. We won't be there. But you can be there with us. Uh, my other partner, Noob Noob, who does not uh, know anything about anime and has never seen the show. So don't ask him any questions about it. But... Tell us what's your favorite anime and is Berserk something that you're going to be paying attention to? Are you saddened by the loss of Kentaro Miura or are you, do you have any ideas where the ending was going to go? Because I sure don't. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's all from us here at Our Views Will Kill You and I'm on to the next one.